guys welcome back to another video and hope you guys doing great so it's been a while since I didn't really got uh, much time to make new videos and to upload in YouTube simply because I've been a little bit kind of busy doing some some extra things right so that's why I didn't really got time to upload new videos but today I'm outside I'm having a great time here and I just thought of like making a new video right why not If you guys are using this uh, Technicolor Cine style picture profile, then here's a quick solution for how you can really change the flat looking profile into a Rec. 709 looking footages. So what is Cine style, right? I think many of you guys must be knowing this, but then for those of who, who they think this is kind of new to them, Cine style is basically a flat picture profile, right? For example, like Sony, we have S-Log and for Canon, we have C-Log, right? So the whole idea of a uh, flat picture profile is to give you more dynamic range. Dynamic range in the sense like range of color, right? Especially while you are doing color grading, you have more flexibilities towards the colors, right? And that is the reason why we are using flat picture profile often. But if you want to know in-depth knowledge about this dynamic range and other stuffs, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so then you can just check it out later, right? So usually when we deal with uh, flat uh, footages first we need to color correct right we need to bring back the saturations the contrast and all these kind of things and the second thing is to do uh, color grading right the look that you want to create right but in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can turn your flat footages into a rec 709 looking footages in just a second and that is to download a LUT I, I believe that the LUT is also provided by technical cine style specifically for uh, cine style picture profile right so the link is in the description below so you can just download it and then you know load it up in your uh, software and you're ready to go so I'm going to show you guys an example right a uh, few clips that I shot on this Canon M50 which doesn't come in with inbuilt uh, flat picture profile and currently I'm using cine style picture profile and I'm going to show you guys some example right alright guys now we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and here's a short clip that I shot while I was playing with my little cat here and uh, as you guys can tell that the footage itself looks pretty flat right this was actually shot on Canon M50 using the cine style picture profile right so usually what we used to do is that we go to the color panel and then we start tweaking those tools I mean like uh, color correcting them right so first what we need to do we have to show the lumetri scopes so you will look at the color scope and then you start tricking those settings and to color correct them right so here's a quick solutions as I told you before so you need to go to the input lots this is the basic corrections not the creative section you need to go to the basic corrections and browse or just simply here I have already loaded the cine style uh, to Rex 709 LUTs in the Adobe Premiere Pro Lumetri sections and so here is here is the option here so you click on that and look the difference right before and after without doing any tricking all those adjustments and doing all by yourself there's a very quick solution that you can turn your flat flat profile into a Rex 709 looking profiles now this might be kind of a personal choice I mean like if you normally do all the correct uh, color correcting by yourself then you might not be have to deal with this kind of thing but then for those of who like who really want to do things in a very quickly and then I mean like if you're busy and you really need to uh, do the task on time then you probably this is very helpful right and that's pretty much all guys the link is in the description below then you just need to download the lots and then uh, you just need to upload it in your Lumetri scope and then and there you go right but don't forget to load the LUTs in the basic corrections right not in creative sections and that's pretty much all guys that's pretty much all guys and see you guys in the next video if you're new to this channel and still watching this video consider subscribing it helps a lot to me and uh, it keeps me really motivated to create more content like this and I really appreciate that.